Hi everyone, welcome to another of my RetroX mini guides. This one is going to cover shaders. Um, so this is the ability to apply an effect to the um, to the game, to the screen. Um, most common ones are things like adding scan lines over the top. So remember the good old days of the big, big heavy CRT screens. You basically had, a, had what they call scan lines running across them. Um, and a lot of the graphics actually for the games were designed uh, with the scan lines in mind so they're displayed a certain way and you know, sometimes they look better with them than without them so you've now got these shaders which basically apply that effect over the top to make it look like an old CRT screen some take it a step further and give it the kind of almost reflective curved look um, so there's a whole bunch in there and we'll, we'll, we'll see them but um, especially how to set them and you can you can set them globally or per system or per game so we'll see that and then also a uh, more recent feature that was added, which is pretty cool, is the fact that you can dynamically, on the fly, change a, a shade while you're in-game. So previously you'd have to go through the list, pick one, launch the game, see how it looks. If you didn't like it, come back out, try another one, launch the game again, and go through that process, which could be quite lengthy. Now, like I say, you can launch a game. Um, you hit a button, you hit the start button, and left or right, and you can actually cycle through the shaders um, until you find one you like. And then when you find one you like, you can come out and you can set it in the menu. Um, so yeah, let's let's jump in and uh, and and get on. So let's get into Mega Drive, and we're going to hit the blue button and go across to the cog. See now we have render type. So if we click on here. Like I say, we've got three settings. You've got a global shader, so you can set one right, right at the top level with, that will apply to everything, every, every single system, every single game. Um, so what I tend to do normally is make it medium scan lines. It's the, uh, it's the it's, that's, that's the global one, that's the main one that applied to everything. And then what I can say, okay, for this system, for Mega Drive, do I want to use that one or a different one? I could say, okay, just for Mega Drive, use a different one let's say scanline soft just for example so that means that you know the global one will apply to everything except mega drive which will be scanline soft but then what i could do for this specific game for aladdin i could then go and set another one say soft but so it all depends on on how you want to do it so what i'll do for now is just put that back to default and i'll put this system back to default which means the, the medium scan lines will apply to everything. But like I say, we'll go in, you can actually change it on the fly. So what I'll do now is launch Aladdin. So now what we should see. So you can see now you've got these slight slight grey lines going across. So they're to represent the scan lines you'd get on a CRT. And you can kind of see what I mean that the graphics are designed to take those into account. Some people, you know, think you know they look better. So that's kind of you can see there. That's you know that's how it looks now with the, the scan lines on. So like I say, if you hold down the start key and then cycle left or right, so you can see the bottom then yellow there. You've got scan lines medium, scan lines strong. So it's definitely a bit stronger there. PV composite, S video, yeah. high quality times two. So like I say, you can pretty much go through these, just keep and start, held down. You see that one, that kind of, the, the double A one kind of softens everything. Like I said, they've, they've all got weird names. But like I say, scroll through. And you've got a whole bunch. And you just go through until you find one. See, this is a good one. This one I mentioned where it... Let's go off it and back onto it again. You can see where it actually curves the screen slightly. It's got scan lines, but it's also curved it, so it almost gives you the effect of playing on a on a TV. And then, of course, if I come back out, get the two buttons together, quit. And now, what you'll notice is anything you do in there um, isn't saved. 
So if we go back down to the render type, you'll notice it's still um, it's still all set to default. It hasn't changed. So if you're doing it in a game, you're scrolling through. Um, it just lets you play with them. And if you find one you like, just make a note of the name. So then, okay, I, you know, I like that that round one. And gives it the curved. So I'll go down and find that one, which was the Geome one. So now this game is going to use Geome. So we're back in. Now the launch it. launches with a um, with that shader pre-applied and that's it that's that's um that is shaders in a nutshell it's it's easy but it's such a you know powerful feature be able to apply that to the uh, to the view it's uh, again I right, said so, you know th these are these are shaders that are used in multiple emulators but the fact that you've now got it embedded in DirectX and you just you hit a key to do it it's, it's so good um, like I say when you launch it you do get a reminder you can see here Different shortcut keys that do certain, certain things. So you'll start to let brings up the menu so I can exit. But holding start and pressing left or right is what what changes the shader. The cycles left or right through the list. Um, I think I mentioned well in a, in a previous video about the save states, where you could pause and you could load or save. You can also hit start and L2 or R2 to load and save if you want to do it quick. Um, just another little one, little uh, tip there. Like I say, that that message I always have come up. But if it annoys you, if you don't want that, while I'm here, I'll just quickly show you how to turn that off. So you go to the main menu, um, and if I can, no, not that one. Where was it? Under manage system setting, maybe. No, 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 no. Definitely under display settings. Under here, oh, honestly, I do know what I'm doing. So one of those moments. Sorry. So here we go. So display help before the game starts. That's currently set to yes. So if you make you toggle that to no, you can. Uh, you won't get that message that comes up. Um, this one's quite self-explanatory. Uh, game names without marks. So. Um, quite often your games may have kind of like the, the region that they're from, whether it's UK, Europe, US, whatever, and version numbers after them. You can basically tell that tricks to hide that lot. I don't have that turned on because I, you know, I find that a little bit annoying having all that extra info that I don't really need. You can turn that on or off. And then I think I used one the other day. Um, so by default, it shows every single system here and um, whether you've got games or not. But you can say include systems without games, no. So it will be having it set to no will basically show only the systems I've got games for, if that makes sense. So with the other setting changed, if I go back to Mega Drive, if I launch Aladdin now, it should launch straight in without the worker message. I'll still do the help message, and there we go. So yeah, that in a nutshell is shaders, a very cool feature, and you can uh, <laughs> hours of fun going through picking different shaders until you find the one you want. And and you might find that different ones work for different systems better, so you know, more modern systems like, like the PlayStation or the PSP. Um, I'd say for PSP, you probably wouldn't want the scan lines. Of course, the PSP was on its own little LCD screen um, or HD screen. So putting scan lines on that isn't really true to how it was originally. But for the older games, the arcade games, and you know, the older, older systems that you, you run on your old TV, the old CRTV, then yeah, put things like scan lines on them. It makes it look... Uh, a bit more like the good old days. Uh, I guess the only thing to note really is also they do take a little bit of um, of power, of you know CPU processing power to do that, put those those shaders on. <clears throat> so depending on you know the age of your device and the, you know, how powerful it is and what system you're running, just you know if you do get a bit of slowdown, try just check it's not the shader um, and set it to off, and then all try different shaders. You might some might you know. Be a bit more resource hungry than others so just bear that in mind as well but if you've got a, a, a modern device you yeah, should be fine to run that so yeah that's another another video done please give it a like please subscribe and i'll be back with another one soon